Hey, how's it going there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday early evening here in California, about 7.22 p.m. California time, August 26, 2024. We got a 6.0 earthquake here coming in to the uh, Indonesia Islands area, about 125 kilometers deep here in this region. Um, pretty large earthquake. Nothing showing up here from the USGS map yet. Uh, just refresh this. Uh, so it is just coming in from the EMSC model. So this could get revised. Uh, a lot of times here, the EMSC has been underrating uh, the magnitudes out here. Let's go back over here and check this out. Uh, there's that six pointer in the Indonesia islands area. The source parameters here have not yet been reviewed by a seismologist. So this could get upgraded, downgraded, who knows? Uh, there is the signature, one of the P waves it looks like, showing up in the Philippines. Uh, north there of the area also a little earthquake coming into California it almost looks like um, when that uh, earthquake came in the six-pointer let me let me check real quick here what we got that was at 0 to 15 0 to 15 goodness so that earthquake there that six-pointer in the Indonesia Islands area uh, triggered a small little quake there at the same time in Northern California isn't that kind of odd? But if you think about it, let me go back here and show you guys where the earthquake struck is right around here. Uh, when one area of the plate moves, obviously we can see some adjustment out here across Northern California. That's where we've seen uh, uh, this earthquake strike, a 1.8, not a big one, but it, it's, it's at the uh, uh, southern end of the Cascadia at the same identical time that the six pointer struck over here, thousands of miles away, kind of crazy. Uh, again, it just goes to show you how you adjust one piece of the puzzle and ultimately, goodness, we can see almost immediate results go on here across the uh, plate boundaries. Um, so let me see here. Nothing yet from the USGS map. Kind of curious to see what they're going to do with this magnitude here. Looking at the seismograph stations, hard to tell. Um, Philippines area. I don't see it showing up yet on... The uh, New Zealand station, which is right here. So I don't think it's going to be any bigger than the six pointer. Possibly, maybe. Yeah, I was just going to say a little bit of a downgrade here. Uh, so it looks like they downgraded a little bit to a 5.9. Uh, again, that's still from the EMSC model. Could get uh, revised again. But uh, looking at the seismograph station here that we're seeing. Uh, I don't think it's going to go up in magnitudes. If anything, it'll go down maybe another point or two. But uh, either way, uh, a larger earthquake out there around the area of the Indonesia Islands area. And um, let's check out the Tsunami Warning Center, see if they picked up on this or not. They haven't. It could take USGS, who knows, 20 minutes long. But uh, anyway, yeah, decent earthquake out there. Uh, in that area also some adjustment going on accordingly here along the west coast lighting up here roughly around the northern edge of the San Andreas Fault the southern edge here of the Cascadia subduction zone all the way down here across the plate boundary a couple smaller earthquakes lighting up including a little bit of movement here on the Imperial Fault which is just south here of the Brawley seismic zone which runs into the southern branch here of the San Andreas Fault so we'll cover this and more in tonight's update. Just wanted to put out here a little bit of information on this earthquake coming in right now. 5.9 earthquake around the Indonesia Islands area. Uh, coming in there onto the uh, EMSC model. Again, we'll cover this and more in tonight's update. Hope everyone's having a good Monday. We'll catch you guys back out here shortly.